Hi, I'm Dr. Bruce DiNardo here in the Physics Lecture Demonstration Laboratory of the Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey, California. Everyone has rolled a ball down some kind of a ramp. The ramp does not have to be straight, of course. So a natural question arises. For the same starting point and ending point, and you release a ball from rest at the top, what is the path such that the ball gets to the bottom in the least amount of time? Is it a straight line? Is it part of an ellipse? Or is it some other curve? In other words, what is the path of quickest descent? This problem is famous. It's called the Brachistochrone problem. That's Greek for shortest time. Historically, this problem initiated a new branch of mathematics called the calculus of variations. Here is a commercial apparatus that has four different ramps. A blue ramp in front, then a straight yellow ramp, then a green ramp, and then the red ramp in the back. The apparatus can be used to demonstrate a path of quickest descent. Steel balls are released from rest at the top here at the same time. And then we will observe which gets to the bottom first. They will not all arrive at the same time. Consider the red ramp here. You can see that it has a relatively shallow slope in the beginning. The ball will only slowly accelerate it will thus spend a lot of time there. In fact, if you imagine less and less slo slope so that it becomes horizontal, it will take more and more time to go here. In the limit of zero slope, the ball will not move, so the time for the ball to reach the bottom is infinite. When it's flat, it'll never reach the bottom. At the other extreme is the blue ramp. Here the acceleration will be fast in the beginning due to the higher slope. So it'll pick up speed and then slowly accelerate at the end. The yellow ramp is straight. This, the ball will have constant acceleration on the yellow ramp. This is also the shortest distance between the two points. So which of these two paths will yield a shorter time? I don't think that's obvious. Let's do the demonstration. And I'll do it on three. One, two, three. I think you can see that the ball reached to the bottom reached the bottom first for the blue ramp. Next was the straight yellow and then the green and finally as expected the red. Let's watch this again in slow motion. Note that the order of the quickest to the slowest path is the same as the order of the ramps from front to back. Of all possible curves, not just the four in the apparatus, which one yields the shortest time? This is the famous Brachistochrone problem. A reasonable guess is that you want to have a path that goes vertically downward to the same elevation as the endpoint, and then there's a small rounded section here. In that way, you get the fastest acceleration. You pick up the speed the fastest, there's the greatest acceleration, so it'll get ahead of these other ramps. However, this is a longer distance than, say, the bluest ramp. So it's not obvious which ramp will yield the shorter time in that case. The problem was solved around the year 1700 by Isaac Newton and others. The answer is not a straight path, as we've seen with this apparatus, uh, not an elliptical path, and it's not this vertical and then horizontal path. It turns out that the answer is a cycloid. This curve, we can generate this curve with a disk we have here. If you focus your attention on the green dot, as I roll this disk straight, straight along here, straight along the table, the point will 
trace out a cycloid. That's a cycloid. Now, the cycloid here has to be inverted to apply to this system, but that is the path of quickest descent. Because we know that a cycloid is the solution here for the path of quickest descent, this path that's initially vertical and horizontal cannot be the solution. The problem is you don't know that from this apparatus. That's a deficiency of the apparatus. We just know here that the blue is the shortest time. What we need in this apparatus is an additional ramp here that goes down like this and along like that such that the blue beats out that additional ramp. If you know of such an apparatus, or if you're thinking about building one, please contact us. Physics demonstrations are fascinating, and the quest for them never ends. This is the Physics Department of the Naval Postgraduate School, and I'm Dr. Bruce DiMato. Thank you.